So, welcome back to Travels with Bert. Today I'm going to show you how to build a road. Well, kind of. About five years ago, maybe six years ago, I decided to take a drive from Konom, which is way over that way, down to here, which is Kaoplai Dam. You may remember the Kaoplai Dam featured in my Beaches, 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 Beaches video, which was almost a year ago now. And to get from Kanam, I had to drive about 20 kilometers inland and then quite a long way south and then back out towards the coast and north again to reach here. It wasn't easy to get from Kanam to Kaoplai Dam. And I got to here and I looked and I thought, there's a new road there. I've never seen that before. You can probably see just there there's a, there's a road going off that way. You can see it better in, this, uh, in these aerial shots. I'd heard rumors of plans to build a new road and frankly I thought that's a crazy idea. For most of the distance that way it's just a, a cliff face at about 45 degrees and I thought they're going to have to blast so much rock in order to make a flat surface to build a road. That's an insane idea. Also the road runs right through the middle of a national park and I thought they're never going to get permission to build a road through a national park. But of course this is Thailand, you know, there are ways to do things. Anyway, sitting right next to the road isn't really a great place to sit and talk, so why don't I take you to the other end of the road, which is right here. Actually we're uh, almost outside the Ratchakiri Resort and Spa. I think you can probably see the entrance up behind me. And this is the road going south from Kanom, heading towards Kaoplai Dam. But before the road was built, this was as far as you could go. You could drive into the resort, but there was no road going any further than that. So that was the end of the road. And actually, this isn't a great place to sit and talk either, is it? So why don't we go down the road a ways and sit by the sea? You can see the Ratchakiri Resort where we just came from. That's the one behind me, the one with its own jetty. It's a very exclusive place, uh, way beyond my budget, probably 10 times beyond my budget. But we didn't come here to talk about resorts, we came here to talk about roads. Oh, and before I forget, I made a video just as they were finishing the road several years ago, probably four years ago, and I added it on to the end of this video. It's only a couple of minutes long and I think you'll enjoy it. So at the end, don't go away. So all those years ago when I saw the beginning of the road, and they were starting to construct it. I decided to try to drive up from Kaoplai Dam up to here in Konom. And it was a real mess. There were little strips of concrete and there was a lot of gravel and sometimes this side was finished and that side was finished and then no sides were finished. But I stopped and I uh, talked to one of the construction guys and asked him if I could go up the hill there and he gave me the thumbs up sign. Although I doubt that he cared what I did. It was a bit of a challenge with all the ups and downs and the construction traffic trying to negotiate their way around me or me around them. And it probably took me an hour to get all the way up here to Kanam, which uh, today would only take about 20 minutes, assuming I'm driving. The most difficult part was where they were building this bridge. And it was necessary to go down a steep gravel road across the bottom and back up the gravel road the other side. That's all disappeared into the undergrowth now. But here's what it looked like from down there and from upstairs. It was obvious from that first drive that they were building something special. I mean, the scenery was fantastic. You could see the sea from just about everywhere. And it was also a bit scary because there were some pretty steep slopes, as you can see in this picture. And uh, they, in fact, they put up signs warning you about the slopes. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And they were also, they're building what they call Seknik viewpoints, which uh, turned out to be scenic viewpoints. But the big question was, would anybody use it? And I figured the answer was no, because how many people need to drive from Kanam down to Kaoplai Dam? I figured maybe two people per day. 
But I was so wrong. What's that phrase about builders and they will come? People come here in droves and on a weekend it's just bumper to bumper traffic. You wouldn't want to try to drive down there on a Sunday afternoon because you can end up in a 10 kilometer traffic jam. And the road is used in about 50% of TV commercials, especially commercials for cars. It's extremely popular. And about halfway down the road, there's a series of what I would maybe call hillocks. And for some reason, that's the most popular part of the road, even though it has no sea view. It must be the only section of road that has no sea view. But everybody has to stop there and take photographs. And there's a bend just before there, and I came around that bend one day, at, what shall we say, um, an adrenaline-inducing speed. And slap bang in the middle of the road, there was a table and four chairs, and four people sitting there enjoying some kind of beverage until they saw Bert and then they all disappeared very quickly. And after we'd gone past, they put the table back and the four chairs and they sat back down again and carried on drinking their beverage. Strange things happen in Thailand. As I say, it's probably the most boring piece of the whole road. So to me, it's just a load of hillocks. Of course, I use the road myself. If I'm traveling from Konam down to Sichuan, it drops about five or six kilometers off the distance. It's no faster because of all of the bends and the hillocks and the people standing in the middle of the road, which uh, never ceased to amaze me. But the scenery was always great, even if it's cloudy, even if it's raining, the scenery is always fantastic. So it's a pleasure to drive down there. And there's just one more thing I don't understand. Why does no one call it the Konom Corniche? It seems like the perfect name to me. I mean, a Corniche is a road built on the side of the cliff, and this is Konom, and it makes a perfect alliteration. But everybody still calls it the New Road. Oh well, maybe one day. But for now though, it's goodbye from Bert and it's goodbye from me, but don't go away because I promised you a video and here it is.